Welcome back to Rational Man Show. Today I'm going to call this episode Kindergarten because I have been accused of defaming Robert Fulgham over his book Everything I Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten or some such. It is true that I said that something along the lines of that everything, if everything you need to know you learned in kindergarten, you are probably institutionalized. And if you think about it, that's because kindergarten is an institution. Make no mistake about it. It's a cross between a mental hospital and a penitentiary for the criminally insane. Which is fair because people of that age bracket uh, would be considered insane by adult standards and uh, quite often uh, their behavior would amount to criminal action if they were in fact adults. So uh, that's true. I did make that statement about um, kindergarten and, and by extension his book. Now I started to think to myself aside from the fact that kindergarten is a totalitarian state where they tell you when to do what, to do everything you're supposed to do and nothing you're not told to do, um, which, by the way, to me makes it an abomination. You know, as an adult, uh, none of us would get along well in kindergarten um, if we were forced to live by the same rules. I started to think about some of the things. Now, I do agree. I should point out, first of all, I do agree with Robert Fulgham in that uh, in certain things. You should look both ways before you cross the street and nap time can be a delightful experience even as an adult. However, I started thinking about other things that we learned in kindergarten that are downright dangerous. They're so badly uh, put together. Now remember in kindergarten they want to put out a great deal of information but not make it too burdensome. So they cut down on the factual content to where it's almost if not false, at least useless. Um, and sometimes quite dangerous. For example, uh, I remember learning in kindergarten that bears hibernate, and it turns out that they do not. Uh, also, um, if you're into the outdoors, uh, along with the bear thing, you'll know that the compass doesn't point north, it points south, because if it pointed north, that would mean that uh, like poles attract, so obviously they don't. Like poles repel, so the north end of a compass needle must be pointing south. Okay, those things aside, those are probably some of the more dangerous things that you learn in high school. I, I mean, sorry, kindergarten, although 50-50, right? Um, now, it turns out that almost everything we learned was bullshit. Everything you learned in kindergarten was bullshit. I mean, start with the ABCs, one, two, threes, our, our leaders, our holidays, our just everything, basically everything. You know, primary colors. You know, it's all it's all rubbish. Um, you know, we're taught that our primary colors uh, are red, uh, blue, and yellow, with which you can make all the other colors, mostly mud. Um, and it turns out as you grow up and you learn about things other than crayons that red, green, and blue are considered the primary colors of, for example, light. And if you're into photography, you know, you'll look at filters as a whole other set of primaries and it just goes on and on. I mean, you know, it's a big old world out there and they really don't cover it uh, very, very well. Uh, numbers. Uh, most of us remember counting starting at one. Uh, it might be a holdover from previous societies that, that didn't understand the concept of zero, but it's pretty much going to be there for pretty much forever, so uh, get used to it. Count at one to ten instead of zero through nine. Um, and it, it feels right because that's the way we were taught. It feels a little funny going zero, one, two, three, four, you know, instead of where we do it. It's not right, but it feels right because that's the way we're taught. Um, our alphabet, our poor screwed up little alphabet. Now, 
Admittedly, they didn't teach us anything particularly wrong about our alphabet, but they did forget to mention certain things such as Q isn't actually a letter, but a biliteral, because it can't be used without the letter U in English. And also, of course, uh, they forgot to mention some pretty heavy-duty, uh, you know, a lot of undeclared diphthongs and whatnot that that are actually granted letters in their own in their own uh, in other alphabets. But here nor there, I mean, we're not going to change that either anytime soon. I think the last time we changed our alphabet was about 350, 400 years ago when we added the letter J as its own letter. Um, anyway, um, so like I can say everything from numbers, letters, hol holidays, uh, famous people. George Washington never cut down a cherry tree, as far as we know. No evidence of it. His birthday, a holiday, not on his birthday. Of course, same thing with Jesus. I mean, like we do Christmas in the winter um, in a holiday that we admittedly ripped off wholeheartedly from the pagans, uh, as well as Easter, by the way, another another very pagan-influenced holiday. Um, at least Halloween, you know it's a pagan holiday, so you know it's like not a big surprise. Um, Columbus, yeah, Columbus Day. Um, all right, I don't know if you celebrated that uh, when you were in school, uh, but we were all told about how he discovered America, and it wasn't until later we found out that he didn't. I mean, you know, they say well, the next thing you learn is what Eric the Red did, and some Chinese monk did, and maybe the Egyptians did, and then blah, 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 blah. I mean, it goes on and on. But, <clears throat> and of course, there's the American Indian. Um, argument is that they discovered America, which is, of course, preposterous because they were already here. Now, you can say, well, doesn't that mean they discovered it? No, no. If you go back with Columbus and the American Indians far back to where they had a common ancestor, they were pretty much the same tribe or close to it. Uh, I mean, if, if you look at it like, I discovered what? You can't discover the place you live in already. Okay, go ahead and try. Sit around, you know, think of yourself in the, in the guise of a, a Native American who discovers America. Put yourself in that position, okay? Okay, here you are. Dude. America. Whoa. Right? No. Ah. The other Indians would go, oh, he's just been hitting the peace pipe again. Don't pay him no mind, you know. Um, but again, you know, Columbus not only did not discover, uh, was not only the first to discover America, he didn't discover America. I mean, he discovered Haiti, he discovered the Caribbean, he s probably saw the coast of South America, never set foot there, never set foot on America either. Um, and, um, by the way, made his crew swear that it was India. On pain of death, he made his crew swear that South America was in fact India, um, which is how we got the whole Indian thing to begin with. Which is kind of remarkable considering that a thousand years before Columbus, a Greek guy discovered not only that the world was round, but calculated it very accurately to within 50 miles of its actual diameter. Never went out to, never went out to check, but he was able to do the math and came out with a very good figure. Um, Okay, so anyway, and Magellan, don't get me started. I mean, even a kindergartner knows that if you die halfway around the world, it doesn't count. And yet we're all told that Magellan was the first person to circumnavigate the globe. We can't say, that it, we can't say for sure who did, but we can say for sure that he did not. And just for the record, the first person to circumnavigate the globe in historical times was named Malacca Henry. You can look him up on the internet, I'm sure. Right, so what other little things did we learn that weren't true? Well, a lot of you have interesting thoughts about what you learned in kindergarten, and I'd like to hear them. In fact, I'd like to plagiarize them, perhaps, on another show. So, uh, go ahead and send them to me at ask at rationalmanshow.com and I'll be sure to play them for what they're worth. Thanks for watching.